Yeah, like my senior parents, they need to come back home. It's nine months already. Well, what more do we need to do? When are we expected to hear back home? Nine months later, and PIX 11 cameras capturing what longtime homeowners here in Southeast Queens are still living with after Ida stormed through the area back in September. The moment I see it going to her yard, I already know it's coming to ours. My home, we, we haven't been able to repair because FEMA didn't give us enough money. We're still waiting on FEMA. Every time you had flash flood, you have rain, heavy rain, you're living a threat. You're, you're just wondering what's going to happen next. And this ship Prasad family has still not been able to move back in. PIX11 profiled them in March. This overwhelming and devastating feelings we have for not being in our home is <laughs> very hard. Since then, we've reached out to multiple agencies about getting help for families still reeling from Ida. And those will start overflowing as well. And on Friday, a tour was organized by Councilwoman Natasha Williams with representatives from multiple agencies, including the Comptroller, Borough President, and Congressman Gregory Meeks' office. Why is it taking so long? I have no idea. That's the question that I have, too, which is why I'm like, let's get everybody here and let's figure out how we can expedite the process. If we're here in September having the same conversation, it's our fault. No one to blame but ourselves. Over $400 million of federal funding has been allocated to New York City for families affected by Ida, but local leaders say trying to coordinate all agencies on all levels of government has been a challenge. It's frustrating as a legislator not being able to, to speed up the process. Amit Shifrasad, who's been the face of this community since Ida, says with hurricane season just days away, he's worried. We know this, this community or this street cannot handle one storm. He has a message for the mayor. This was a disaster. We really need the help from our mayor. And we did reach out to the mayor's office to see if he will come here to Southeast Queens and to see when the families here who did not receive FEMA funds will get theirs. In the meantime, families we talk with today say they are asking for help from anyone who will help them fix their homes so it's safe to live in again. In Hollis, Queens, Jennifer Bisram, Pix 11 News.